Hi everyone, this is James. Um, this is a very urgent video. I wanted to get out to everybody. Now, I didn't think there was another video that the Lord wanted me to do, but today um, I got a whole, whole bunch of divine inspiration that came to me, and this is the result. And this will be a two-part video. I'll attach them together, but the first part would be a, a PowerPoint um, sl uh, slideshow, and the other will be a Word document. Sorry, bear with me. I'm quite sick right now. But uh, yeah, please bear with me. Thank you. Now, this is the result of a divine download that I received. And I'll show you that in a second, but this is decoded. The only thing that's um, this E equals MC squared. Uh, okay, this is not actually in the matrix, but it's applied. It's, uh, it refers to atoms, atom bombs. Okay. And um, from what I see, 11:23. That's today, and these, this is what's been happening the last month or two. The Lord has had me solve things on the exact day um, that that it was, you know, preordained. You know, back in the past, it was preordained in the future, and uh, that's how He's done it. So today, this was solved today, or sorry, this was solved today. I'm sorry. Um, so then they got Genesis 7:11. Now I think. I'm not sure if that's actually, I, I don't think that applies, I think that's over with, but that is, you know, we're talking about the days of Noah, uh, but here is the, I don't think you can see my cursor in PowerPoint, but 23, that's where we're at, 23, 11, 23, okay, that's 2022, so that's that's relevant, okay, and if you take a look at the, the date in red, okay, now this is what I feel the Spirit has led me to share. Now take this up, you know, in prayer. And if if you feel you get a confirmation, you know, I I like to say yes, but I'm going to show you the scripture. And I I believe the Lord, you know, again this is um, you know it's, it's a conjecture or a guess, but He doesn't want the enemy to actually know. Okay. So, but he's alerting the people this way. But, you know, again, I could be totally wrong. His thoughts are higher than my thoughts. He didn't He didn't say, James, that's the date, okay? And I can understand why, you know, he, he wouldn't. But, I, again, I'm totally guessing I might totally be wrong. But I wanted, you know, this is information that, you know, I feel that the Lord, you know, he, he trusts that, uh, you know, I'll put out this information. He knows I'll put the information out. And if it is... A total hazard I'm sure he would stop me and he has stopped me in different ways but anyway that's not about that's this video is not about that um, so let me let me continue so just be on alert I guess you know and if you're if you're a believer you're saved you don't have nothing to worry about anyway but for your family and friends this is what is probably coming well not probably it is coming absolutely coming now is it that day question mark question mark Okay, but let me continue. Okay, this is a divine download that I I got about yeah over a year and a half ago. You know, to a lame lame person, um, then I can understand it. You know, this is most of this was encoded to my life experience and to what I do for a living. Um, so this box here, this is covering. It's a, like a cipher, and actually, what I just showed you is part of it. Okay, that's my age, 48 right now. Um, this, it's, uh, uh, I'm not going to really get into a lot of this stuff here because I don't think it's necessary, but what I'm saying is, um, you know, what I'm saying is that I believe this is very important and very relevant right now. And you'll see the further I go. Okay. So let, let me continue. Um, I will tell you that these, these actually events happen. It's a lunar eclipse back in May. Uh, 26, 2021, and um, and then also this was the the November 8, 2022, um, blood moon. Okay, and then this timeline goes down, and that's why it's hidden. This is actually it looks like a mistake, but it's not. It's actually the verse in question that I'm going to show you. Um, but anyway, you know it it looks like it's misspelled, and it, but it lines up to the cipher wheel and everything, but. Again, you know, I think, I believe that, you know, I believe a divine inspiration, is there mistakes possible? Um, I think the Lord allows mistakes for a reason. 
yeah, put it that way. But it is actually, I'll show you the verse that lines up with, okay? So, um, yeah, this one, yeah, okay. Sorry, let me continue. Sorry, I'm not clearly really thinking <laughs> as well as I can. I can't speak as clearly as what I know I can um, explain here. So let me let me continue. So here's the, the relevant verse we're talking about here, Revelation 12:15. okay? And if you take a look, the, the way I highlight it, okay, it's like Adam. So anyway, you got one and one, that's the 11th, 11th month, say November, and then 25. And this was a long time ago, the Lord put it on my heart. He told me two things. One was about the uh, serpent with the flood, and number two was Nemesis. But I'm not going to get into Nemesis at the moment. But anyway, um, so I'm going to read this for you. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Okay, now this, I'm very confident this is true, but again, I'm, I'm going to put it in the realm of conjecture. When the, when the rapture happens, it's... Um, it's going to be like a thief in the night. People are going to, you know, it's going to be a lot of chaos. People are going to leave, you know, leave the earth and, and uh, take it away to heaven. And uh, there's going to be a lot of chaos left in its uh, ra, you know, left in the wake of it. So, you know, it's going to be utter chaos. Now, uh, Satan, you know, obviously he knows that the rapture happened. He has to, one, cover it up. Number two, he's got to try to kill as many of the remnant that's remaining or people that could be saved. Satan is a moron, and, a, and you know, he's, but he's, you know, he knows, he's got a game plan, obviously, he's been working on a game plan a long time, will he defeat God? Absolutely not, but, you know, this is why God has put Watchmen out there to, you know, you know, just show that he loves you, and that you were, you were warned, okay, he loves you, he's warning you because he loves you, okay, so let me continue. Now, can I, again, I can't say it for sure, uh, unless God, uh, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Father, you know, confirms it very, very strongly, then I will not, you know, I can't, I can't say it. I can't, I can't say that. So let me continue. Um, again, there's, I just put that in here twice, but anyway, 23 means death. Um, you know, this is very relevant. I'm, I'm telling you this, I... I believe this is very relevant. Anyway, let me continue. Now, it's also, I've been talking to a lot of people who's watching this, my videos for the first time on my channel. They, haven't, they probably don't know about God's fingerprint or the Fibonacci golden swirl. Again, it's actually in here, um, this date. And, uh, you know, that's not a coincidence. You know, God is our, our Lord and, and Savior. Our Father is, uh, you know, he doesn't do things by chance. He's not a God of disorder. He does things that he can show you clearly, and um, you know, and right in front of, even though the uh, it's in front of the enemy, he's you know, he's still so powerful. And so you know, he uses you know us little servants, and he re shows his glory and power to warn the people and show you know that his plan is going to come to pass, and there's nothing Satan can do or any, anybody else. So let me let me continue. If you want to learn more about God's fingerprint, or if, you know, again, it's not Fibonacci's. God was, my, my Lord was very uh, adamant that, you know, it wasn't Fibonacci. He just allowed him to discover it. You know, that's God's, his fingerprints on, you know, all plants you, and the human finger, you know, the, the fingerprints there and the uh, break of a wave. Um, I mean, the galaxies, uh, uh, hurricane eye. I mean, you, you name it, it's all over the place. Flowers. So, you know, we don't want his uh, fingerprint to be usurped. So anyway, that's all I'm going to say. But let me continue. I have, I have quite a bit of stuff to go through here. Um, this is actually one of the, the uh, keys that I solved. Um, it's actually, there's the day 11-9-2022. And I'm just going to read this real quick. We will meet at the cross with absolute faith. That's actually part of a quote that he uses. I like meld together a bunch of some of the quotes I have the Lord used your Philly inspired me a number of years ago to use and you are at the crossroads of the future and then he wanted me to sign and date it and that's that that was like a checkpoint 11 9 okay 11 9 and I saw it that day and it was in it's actually in 
that matrix been big 11 9 9 11 that and that's when i solved it so i mean god works in mysterious ways you know he's he's so powerful and it just it's just glorious you know marvelous i mean i can't even wrap my head around it you know it's just absolutely incredible but anyway let, let me continue i don't want to keep talking too much here and after i solved that instantly like within like 20 seconds this came up and the numbers were significant and uh that was another you know confirmation but uh let me let me continue and there's the 23 again that that means death 22 that'd be you know the year that, that was the day also and 28 was actually hedge fund 28 uh sorry 5783 okay so it, it is you know starkly relevant and this is the clock the Lord had me model off the um, God's uh, golden swirl. And I, I just, at my last, uh, I've done a lot of views lately. It was like three videos ago. I, while I was making the video, I discovered what God, you know, God revealed to me what this meant. I couldn't understand why he didn't have any numbers. Um, you know, you don't have the two here. You don't have the one, the two, okay. And then the three is on the edge. Well, what it means is, see Gospel of John 3.16, people that are born again, people believe by faith. There's a reason why there's no numbers, and they're not in a net, is because they're gone. <laughs> okay, that's why. And that's why he has nine. These are checkpoints. Nine, a funny little small nine, and 11. And 11 was used in multiple uh, occasions, so that's why he made it like that. Had me make it like that. And all this was divinely, the Lord, you know, I was inspired to do this. Um, you know, it sounds, you know, you know, it sounds crazy I, I realize and it sounds you know i mean it, it, unless you had it happen to you you think it's nuts i even you know at first i questioned myself but i absolutely know i mean the, the power that came in the room the inspiration the ability you know you made my ability just so much i mean it's the power of the holy spirit you know it's not by my strength or my might not by you know what you know i have just a small intelligence to the lord you know so he gives all the knowledge and wisdom, and he, and, he, and he gives it to whoever he chooses. And so anyway, I'm getting too wordy here, so I'm going to continue. Okay, and this is also uh, a brother in Christ. Um, he was working. Uh, he found the golden swirl, the uh, God's fingerprint, and he applied it to um, uh, space or the stars, the constellations. And then the Lord put it on my heart to check it out, and this was the result. Basically, almost a, a mirror of my clock. Um, so you got Pisces, you got Jupiter here, you got Pisces. This fish is lined up with Messier 31. That means bloodline. I'm, I'm actually a descendant, um, offspring of King David, and there's others, but I'm not going to name that right now. 33 means promise, and when God makes a promise, He's going to deliver. And then if you see the faith, it stops almost at the one fish which will be left behind, will be the remnant, okay? So, and then it is finished, it matched, the, and it had a cross on that certain angle. I mean, just absolutely, you know, you can't make this up. I mean, I, I hate using that line all the time, but, you know, what, what do you say to this? You know, what do you say to this? You might think I'm nuts, and I'm absolutely fine with that. I have no problem with that. I mean, I have a lot of people saying a lot nasty things and i'm totally okay with that but i answer to god i don't answer to anyone else and um you know even if it's my own family I, i'm you know i'm, I'm i uh i understand and I'm, I'm polite and friendly and i say okay that's no problem you know i go on with my business my business is with the lord my house serves the lord okay so anyway that's all i have to say about that if you got a lot of resistance is because i mean there's quotes on that but i'm not going to get into i'm not going to I'm not bashing people. I understand people. There's so much brainwashing, and you know, Satan has such an influence on on the world. It's it's a, uh, you know, it's just like that snare and that clock. You know, he's got a, he's put he's trying to put everybody in a snare. But anyway, I'm going to continue. Now, this was in a video about I think it was about three or four videos ago. I'm uh, kind of losing track, but see on this, I remember a, a long time ago the Lord wanted me to put one, two, three. And that, I mean, we're talking over a year ago when I first started using the Torah calendar. And I didn't understand, but I don't for the one thing about, you know, with the Lord and, and just, you know, even before I was born again, I have a very, I always, I knew I had a, a very um, 
unique memory and um, kind of a skill set and just like um, I don't know how you, <laughs> I'm trying to put it in terms but matrices um, charts numbers you know all these things you know I, 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 you know grids like solving codes breaking codes like that it's and you know my computer background is just it's absolutely natural for me but anyway I'm not gonna talk a lot about me you know the, the, really just one word God or the Holy Spirit uh, two words okay that's why that I can do it he just used me a, as a, a vessel that he's sharpened and trained and this is the result of all this stuff so anyway 20 I just want to show you this last one November the 23rd that's where we're at at midnight it's gonna be the 24th so you got you know 23 means death 24 means priesthood so when you go to heaven and then you come back you'll be a pre priest or king now some of these meanings are sometimes they leave out the duality or uh, part of what the meaning is so I, I think it's probably priesthood and and kingship or king or something but anyway uh, that's not really important right now but 27 this is really I think important preaching of the gospel okay so if the rapture happens two witnesses on the scene preaching the gospel okay um, so all this is you're really lining up okay so I just wanted to show you that again 33 is promise 31 offspring 29's departure okay and this is actually has 29 okay and also the 30th dedication or blood of Christ those who are saved they trust in the blood of Jesus Christ okay let me continue now I, I just have some of the old slides from a video um, you know just the butterfly you know we're gonna make like butterflies and go to heaven very soon there's my car I drive about 50,000 miles uh, a day and, and I feel the Lord want me to put in this video again because a lot of recognition people might see this car remember it and they might oh you know what that that guy that you know you might see my video and, and say oh you know that you know maybe th there is truth and I'm not going to follow the, the Antichrist and the false prophet which is the Pope and uh, uh, actually um, there's a king of the south king of the north um, oh Barack Obama he's an Antichrist uh, Jerry Kushner if you spell his name with an I instead of ER, it's uh, that's six six six. It spells out. And uh, Barack, Obama, Barack Obama's number is forty four. That means man of perdition. Six six six. That's a man of sin. A little bit of a twist that a lot of people didn't know. False prophet is Pope Francis. Now I didn't know I was going to say this in this video, but the Lord a lot of times will will uh, prod me to. Put, you know add extra things but um, unplanned but uh, what God I feel he put on my heart so there you go um, so don't don't be don't be so you know dogmatic and, and um, you know, remember that God puts these people in power you know he sets them up and he puts them down remember that okay so don't trust in God not in man I can't stress that enough all right so I'm going to continue. And the Lord wants me to provide this to people, uh, some scriptures. Romans 10, 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and, that, and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. A promise. A, that's a promise. Nine means faith. Okay. Or, I'm sorry. I think that's uh, spiritual fruit okay um, and then here's the gospel and you can find the complete gospel 1 Corinthians 15 1 through 4 but I, the Lord wanted me to share 1 Corinthians 15 3 through 4 for I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received how that Christ died for his sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures okay now I normally will elaborate a lot here in a lot of these scriptures but what I'm going to do, and I feel the Lord has put on my heart, I put a list of names that, that I feel that I vetted based on what the Lord felt was um, sources of truth, okay? Like 
preachers of truth, teachers of truth. And that's at the near the end of this video. So if you have questions and you're not sure if you're saved and you want to know how to be saved, it would be much better if you turned to these other people. And because I, I really want to make this video short and right now I'm talking way too much anyway. <laughs> but it's this I'm not saying this ain't important. It's extremely important. But I want to get this message out as short as possible. From now on I'm not going to talk as much. So so please, uh, there's a whole list of people um, in, in the back. And op open up your Bible. Read the Bible for yourself. Don't let someone hand feed you the scriptures. The power is reading the word and, and believing it. Okay, applying it. Okay, I, I got to go here. I got to continue. Okay, this was an, a, a very important uh, verses for me. J uh, over f about five and a half years ago, I was born again. And this was a big, um, these these verses here, Ephesians 2, 8 through 10, really turned the light on for me. And I, I finally understood the gospel. Okay, so I want to read these to you. And I want to elaborate on or talk a little bit about Ephesians 2, 10. But other than that, I'm going to continue. So let me read it. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. So once you, you've heard the gospel, okay, you believe it, you're born again, all right? You know it's not by works. You know you trust in Jesus Christ's blood for His uh, atonement of your soul, for the forgiveness of your sins, past, present, and future. Okay. Now here's where I find uh, there isn't too many people uh, what I, from what I've seen that explain Ephesians 2:10. So once you're born again, um, you are led by the Holy Spirit to do good works, and you are rewarded on those good works. Okay, uh, at the day of salvation. All right. So when you're raptured, you know, you, Jesus brings the rewards with him, I believe. And, um, you know, you're, my, what I'm trying to get out of here, you, after you're born again, they're credit to you. Now, if you're not born again, you have no credit to you and you're on your way to hell. Okay, make it that, I'll just make it very simple. And um, when, you, when you're doing good works, that you feel are good works are not good works to God. Okay, so... Bottom line, you cannot earn your salvation. That's that's really what I want to get at. So let me continue. And John 3.16, probably the most popular uh, Bible verse that's shared in the Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that's saying exactly what it says there. Okay. It's not open for interpretation. You believe. You got to believe with your heart. You got to believe with your heart. You can't just recite something and, and not believe it with your heart. You got to believe. Okay. So it's a it's a free gift. You got to believe. And this is uh, just some little board I left for people. If they come into my house once the rapture happens, they they can see you know that. Uh, I expected the rapture and there is truth out there and where to turn so I just want to show you that real quick you know just ideas and hand, you can do handouts also or whatever but uh, I just thought that would be a good way it's a huge uh, whiteboard but anyway let me continue and thank you all to my brothers and sisters that have helped me for encouragement for a lot of times I've got I received important information you pass on to me um, either by me watching your videos or actually I've got comments from brothers and sisters sharing helpful information that actually sometimes actually helped me break a code and the Lord was behind that you know he he we are um, his vessels and uh, he he directs us and uh, that's what happened and I've seen it so many times and I've got examples of that but I won't get into that right now but it just blow your mind but anyway let me continue this I believe absolute or absolutely this is my final video in this dispensation now do I think the rapture gonna happen absolutely I do do I know for sure no it's speculation you know I'm not privy to that information I feel I, I really believe strongly strongly it is I really feel strongly it's gonna happen very, like extremely soon that's all I, I'm gonna say but um, 
let, let me continue. So I'd like to dedicate all this work to the Lord, uh, that is, Father Yahweh, Jesus Christ, and of course the Holy Spirit, I, you know, it's all the whole power of the Holy Spirit, in which, you know, is they're all one. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit is one. And uh, and the Lord wanted me to give all his titles again. Um, Jehovah, I am, Y-H-W-H, that's his tetragram. Um, I think I'm repeating myself here again, Jehovah. The Alpha and Omega, the first and last, and the Almighty, and his number is 26. And uh, Yeshua, I don't think I said Yeshua, and Jesus Christ, of course. And there's no name above that name, Jesus Christ. Jesus means salvation. So, believe and be saved. Okay, please. You know, this is not a joke, people. This is going to happen. You know, all prophecy is going to happen. The only thing that dependent of timing. And I believe the timing is right. And it's it's got to be very close. I think Jesus Christ at the door. And uh, he's going to come pick up his bride very shortly. So, please, again, like and share this video all your family and friends. And, um, you know, I'm going to, in a moment, show you something else. And it's going to be a message a lot of people are probably not going to like. But it's more directed to the people that we left behind. But I, I feel the Lord wants me to include it. So I'm going to include it. So I'm going to, I think I have a couple more slides. Uh, this is the one I was talking about of brothers and sisters that I feel that are very powerfully uh, spiritually led the Holy Spirit and you know I if you contact them if you don't get a reply from them go on to another person and of course your Bible if you have a Bible get one or if you have one open it up and start reading Revelation the Gospels you know all the epistles of Paul Daniel you know just uh, you know I really enjoy reading it right from, you know, right from the Bible. You know, it's nice to, you know, watch videos of other brothers and sisters and and uh, preachers and pastors. But, you know, it's nothing like reading it for yourself, too. So do both. Okay, uh, so um, let, me, let me continue. So this is the last thing I want to say. Now, Revelation 11.3. When the rapture happens, they, I, I don't know when the, the two witnesses will be seen. I, I believe like a, a short time after. But I'm going to say look to the two witnesses in Israel when they come on the scene after the rapture. And they will have the pure truth delivered right from God the Father, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. And they'll be you know, powerfully filled with the Holy Spirit. So the Lord really wanted me to share this verse. And he wants you to share this verse with your family and friends. And leave it maybe in handouts or whatever but uh let me read it for you and i will give power unto my two witnesses and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth and that's 1260 days if you're wondering so thank you everyone god bless you and uh we are i can't stress enough we're really close so i love you all thank you so much for listening